Hi everyone, Kath here. I'm here today to show you my new DT project for June for Caroline's craft tree. Um, the kit is called uh, A Stitch in Time and I will leave a link down below so that uh, if you want to go and have a look at it. Caroline does some wonderful um, kits so please go and take a look. Okay, so this is uh, a single signature uh, junk journal. Uh, I intended it to be a small one, but typical of me, it ended up getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, it measures eight and a half by six inches. Uh, but as you can see, it is quite chunky. Uh, there's approximately 104 pages, that's not including like flips and things like that in their pockets, um, etc. So um, it is quite a chunky little journal. Um, the spine measures just over uh, one and a quarter inches. Um, it's... Um, made from card, which I've, I've covered um, with a dotty fabric. Uh, this part here, I've actually padded with um, a sewing pattern, just to give it a bit of texture. Um, it fastens with uh, some seam binding. Just get rid of that piece there. And um, it's got lots of vintage lace in this. This is beautiful lace here. Uh, that I've made a little pocket from and I did a, a little dingly dangly there um, This goes in the front. This is something that I bought from uh, You know the little, like little suitcases uh, That children have to put toys in and things Well, I bought a sewing one from a, a charity shop quite a while ago And it had all sorts of little pouches in like this. I thought it were perfect for this uh, a journaling card and then this I've just put some ribbon around and it just opens up for journaling space there okay so as you can see now you can see the pocket in full you can just see that I'm not sure if it'll you can see the Padding there. Excuse my fingernails, but I've been uh, coffee dyeing papers. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we've got a, a little front pocket here, uh, which I've printed out twice and uh, made that into a little pocket. Some journaling uh, paper here, and this I think this is a Pinterest. Um, Paper. Sorry, I'm just getting a telephone call through, so it uh, threw me off then. I'll answer them later. Okay, just pop that in there. And then here, uh, this is one of Caroline's pages here. I've made a little uh, embellishment there, and I did some of the like, little wooden buttons. I've done some stenciling. Uh, here I've made a little tuck spot uh, using two of the cards from the kit, the journaling cards, vintage lace buttons. This is also from the kit. I have actually added some of my own ephemera in there. Uh, this is one of my own papers. A uh, little homemade doily. Um, which, if you take a close look, I'm not sure if you can see, it's actually got tiny little buttons on there. Made a little journaling card here. And I've, I've made a button from uh, an inch uh, punch. I just punched two holes in. A little bit of vintage lace and fabric there. It opens up like that. Little pocket, some more vintage lace here. Uh, this is from uh, the kit as well. It's journaling card. 
Uh, this is um, a piece of paper that was left over, so I made this into a tag. Uh, cut out one of the buttons and added just a bit of fabric and uh, ribbon, etc. Uh, this is my own paper. It's um, a printout of some um, wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. Just a, a little bit of a embellishment there, but you can actually fit something in there. Uh, this is from a button book that I got that I thought went quite well. Uh, and just some journaling cards there. Another one of the doilies with the buttons, uh, but this time it's in blue paper, as you can see. A beautiful page here. Uh, again, this is from uh, Caroline's. Uh, I've just uh, taken some dotty paper and done some stamping on there with a bit of embellishment. Um, I did a little tab across there. And that opens up. And this is a, a little needle case. This is part of the kit. Just done a little bit of stamping on there and uh, made a little journaling card there. Obviously this doesn't come with the little slit in so I just took a Stanley knife and cut a little slit in there. Put that the wrong way around that in there and it just tucks into place excuse my arms all over the place and then that just slots behind like that another image from the kit I'll just move that over a little bit uh, this is a printout of some vintage wallpaper uh, a little uh, jar there that is part of the kit Uh, this is um, this is also from the kit that I've just mounted onto uh, some card to make a journaling tag and an envelope. This is from the kit as well. There's nothing in there and I haven't glued it so uh, you can put it where you want. And that should just tuck behind there. Uh, this is um, a vintage corset book that I have. Uh, well, it was underwear, uh, corsets and drawers. I did a little bit of stamping on there. And uh, I left it, made it into like a little envelope there. This is uh, some paper from the kit that I've made into a journaling card. And another of the postcards from the kit that I've just added uh, a little bit of fabric too. Uh, this is from a, a vintage sewing book that I have. I thought it was went really well with the theme. A little uh, corner pocket here. Um, I've used some uh, vintage pattern paper there, uh, just a little bit of um, embellishment, a little ticket from the kit, another of the postcards from the kit and then I've done some uh, journal a journaling page that I've just punched at the side. This paper here, this is again part of the kit. It's, you can just make out the pattern here. It's really pretty. Uh, this is from a vintage book. Uh, it's got all the sewing things in here. I've made uh, a little uh, plastic pocket here and just added uh, some ephemera in there. And then just a little tag there as well. That I've just done some stamping. 
and that just clips on. Oops, where do you come from? Uh, we've got a little pocket here that I've made, just added some embellishments um, from a vintage book on the background. Um, this is from the kit, this is from the kit as well. I've just wrapped some uh, ribbon around there. And this is another one of the little needle cases. And it's just got a little ticket in there. Let's pop that in there. Another of the pages from the kit. Really pretty. Uh, I've made a little pocket here. A little image there. Uh, added some embellishments. Um, I've done a stamped a couple of bobbins here and added uh, one of the uh, thread embellishments. Another of the beautiful images from the kit. Um, earlier on when I said that I'd used some buttons, I'd actually uh, cut these out with a punch. Okay, we have a little uh, tag here. Excuse me a minute while I faff with that. Uh, some vintage book page uh, with embroidery on. Little image here. This is from the kit too. This again is that button page that I've just shown you. I've covered it with uh, some plastic. You'll be able to write on the back of that with a sharpie or something like that. An envelope with just uh, some ephemera in there. I've actually moved where my camera uh, usually is, so I'm hoping uh, that this is a better uh, a better look than we usually have. I'm mumbling a lot, I know. Sorry. Smidge. There we go. A little bit of a flip there. A little bit of uh, vintage fabric. A little flip out. These are from the button uh, book. Just a little clip there. Uh, this is from a, a bride's book, I think. An old 70s one. We will now call it vintage, even though um, that makes me feel really old. Some paper there. Uh, I've stamped that image on there. Little pocket and put some embellishing on. Again, this is another one of those little uh, needle cases that comes with the kit. This is the centre of the signature. Uh, I've cut out one of the images from the kit here, just embellished it and turned it into a little... what you can write all over there and then some papers in there. Another little pocket, flip up there, vintage image, this is one of my own, well I say one of my own, It's I think it's from Pinterest. A little tab here, Another one of the little tuck spots here. I made a little pocket here. There's nothing in it. Again, this is from a vintage book. So you can either stick that down like that, use it as a tuck spot there as well, or from the side. Um, it's also got a little pocket on the back in case you just have it so that you can clip it in. Another vintage uh, dressmaking page. 
I've used a tag there. I've put some of the uh, sewing pattern paper on one of the uh, tickets from the kit and uh, just some journaling paper there. Another one of the uh, little tags. I've made a little journaling card from this image. Another little pocket using the uh, vintage book paper. Journaling tag. And again I've used the uh, sewing paper again there, pattern paper. You can pop something behind that. And then, take that off there, this flips out, should be in there maybe, uh, just put some journaling paper on there, and there's a little uh, tuck spot there, and I've just put that on there to uh, hold it together, a little tuck spot here from the envelope that I've used, card. Uh, this is actually taken from one of the papers. I've cut it out to make a doily there. Vintage book page. Again Caroline's papers here. Uh, this is from the kit as well and I've added uh, some buttons on there and I've just stapled that on. You can also use that as a little tuck spot there too. Just... And uh, another um, journaling card that I've made into a, a little tag there. And there's a little pocket from some vintage lace, added uh, a vintage style button there and a little uh, image um, from a, it's photocopied from a pattern. And there we've got some journaling, spare, uh, journaling uh, paper and a little tag. Now I've lost my little uh, paper clip, so we'll pop them in there. Oh no, it went in there, didn't it? It's the other part of the uh, plastic page. Out. A little journaling cards in there, both the same. I'll actually add some lace in there. This is the uh, other side of that uh, vintage uh, book page. We've got a little tuck spot here. This is taken from the little corset underwear book uh, that I used and I've just stamped some detail on there. Lots of journaling space in here. Made an embellishment there. These are uh, again from Caroline's um, kit. Another one of the little jars. And then here I've made a little tag. Here uh, you can add little bits of papers into each one of those. And I have blatantly copied this from uh, G. Kerr. Um, it's one of her new ideas that she had on YouTube. So I uh, copied it. And then another... Uh, stamp, a bit of stamping that I've done onto that card and then another one of the little envelope pockets goes onto there and the little tag, oh that's the same tag honestly I don't know what's wrong with my brain today but it's not working obviously Please excuse me, that goes in there like that, so we've got a little pocket 
and then we're at the back page where I've just sort of uh, put some uh, distress inks to make it look old. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, apart from me mumbling and fumbling my way through it. Um, this will be listed later on today on my Etsy store. Uh, I will put a link below. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like the journal. And uh, please leave any comments. Thank you very much. Bye.